A new start, a new me. Friday the 20th of April 2012. 173 pounds. Minutes set aside for meditation, 20. Minutes spent meditating, zero. 2 p.m. Right, have made a decision. I'm going to completely change. I'm going to return to Zen, New Age, self-help book study and yoga, etc. Starting from the inside, not the outside. Meditate regularly and lose weight. I've got all set up with candle and yoga mat in bathroom. And I'm going to quietly meditate and settle mind before taking kids to doctors, remembering to allow time to A, get snacks, and B, locate missing car keys. Also, the other things I'm going to do are as follows. I will lose 30 pounds, get on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp instead of feeling old and out of it because everyone except self is on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Stop being scared of turning on the television but instead simply locate and read instruction manuals for TV, Virgin Box DVD remotes and buttons, so that the TV becomes source of entertainment and pleasure rather than meltdown. Do regular life laundry, cleansing house of all unnecessary possessions, especially covered under stairs, so is a place for everything and everything in its place in manner of Buddhist Sendu, Martha Stewart's house. With above in mind, ask mum to stop sending me unused handbags, stoles, wedgewood chureens, etc. Reminding her that the age of rationing ended some time ago and it is now space rather than possessions which are in short supply, at least in the Western world. Start writing my Hedda Gabler adaptation in order to have professional adult life again. Actually write said screenplay instead of spending half day setting off to look for something, then wandering vaguely from room to room worrying about unanswered emails, texts, bills, playdates, go-kart parties, leg waxes, doctor's appointments, parents' evenings, babysitting schedules, strange noise from fridge, cupboard under stairs, reason why telly won't work, then sitting down again realising have forgotten what was looking for in the first place. Not wear same three things all the time, but instead go through wardrobe and put together fashionable looks based on celebrities at airports. Clear cupboard under stairs, find out why fridge is making that noise, Go on email for one hour only per day, instead of spending the entire day in helpless cyber circle of email, news stories, calendar, Google, and shopping and holiday websites whilst texting, then not answering any of emails anyway. Not add Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp and whatever to cyber circle when I've got on them. Deal with emails immediately, so email becomes effective means of communication instead of terrifying unexploded email inbox full of guilt trips and undetonated time vampire bombs. Be better at looking after the children than Chloe the nanny. Establish regular routine with children so everyone knows where they are and what they're supposed to be doing, especially self. Be kinder to Talitha, Jude, Tom and Magda in return for their kindness to me. Go to Pilates once a week, Zumba twice a week, gym three times a week and yoga four times a week and not drink so much Diet Coke before yoga, the entire yoga session becomes exercise in trying not to fart. I will not ever be late for the school run. Do V signs at people during school run. Get annoyed by dishwasher, tumble dryer and microwave beeping in a tension-seeking, needy manner to tell you they are finished. Wasting time crossly imitating dishwasher by dancing around saying, Oh, oh, look at me, I'm a dishwasher, I've washed the dishes. Get annoyed with mum, Una, or perfect Nicolette from school. Call perfect Nicolette, Nicorette. Chew more than 10 pieces of Nicorette per day. Hide empty wine bottles from Chloe the nanny. Eat grated cheese straight out of the fridge, dropping it all over the floor. Be shouty or snarly with the children, but talk in calm, even, Electronic person on voicemail type voice at all time. Mummy doesn't want you to do that. Mummy doesn't want you to do that. Drink more than one can each of Red Bull and Diet Coke a day. Drink more than two non-decaf cappuccinos a day or three. Keep saying one, two in warning voice to children before have decided what to do when get to three. Lie in bed in the morning thinking morbid or erotic thoughts, but get straight up at six o'clock and do self up for school run in manner of Stella McCartney, Claudia Schiffer or similar. Wang around hysterically when things go wrong, but instead achieve acceptance and calm and stand like a great tree in the midst of it all. Gah! 
It's time for doctor's appointment and have not got snack ready, written, meditated or located whereabouts of effing car keys. 